Hi there, it's Morgan Wood. Welcome to my channel. Oh, I'm already in drag, you say? And this is meant to be a makeup tutorial? What? Well, I'm going to try something I've never tried before. I'm going to transform myself from a drag queen to a drag king without taking my makeup off. How does that work? I don't really know either. Let's find out together. So I'm going to go from this to this. So the aim of this video is to see if I can transform my makeup just by adding more from this subtle drag queen look to a masculine drag king look. So come along with me on this journey. Let's see how it goes. So as you can see today, I've gone for a pretty subtle drag queen look. Uh, it's a more natural kind of look. You may also notice that I haven't really color corrected my beard very well, so you do get a little shadow. You're welcome. And I made some particular choices with this makeup in order to make it easier to transform into a drag king look. Honestly, I have no idea if this is gonna work. It could be a total disaster. But that'll be fun, right? Right? Okay, before I can do anything with this makeup, I need to remove this wig. Yes, I'm afraid to tell you this is, in fact, not my real hair. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? So I think I'm gonna start with the eyes and the eyebrows. I have drawn on a pretty natural looking eyebrow to start with, and I don't think it needs much changing in order to become a masculine look. I'm just gonna thicken it a little bit. So using this eyebrow pencil, nope, eyeliner, I'm just gonna go over the brow and make it a little bit thicker, especially towards the end. Okay, and I actually want that brow to be a bit darker, so I'm gonna use a brown powder on this little skinny brush. Ooh, yeah. And then with just a little bit of black on the same brush, I'm gonna do the ends. Just blend that into the brown. Yeah, great. Mm. Now I'm gonna do the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the same blue color that I've already got on my eyes. And I'm gonna just bring it down under the eye a bit to create a kind of bag, I guess. I'm just starting there and just swooping it under this sort of natural line where it goes under my eye socket. It with the blue here. Oh, it's gonna be such a fag. Great. I've got these little bitty baby lashes on and I think I'm actually just gonna keep them on because you know, like I said, it's fag. Right now moving on to the step which I think is gonna make the biggest difference in this look. We're gonna re-contour. So we're gonna change the contours. Firstly, I'm gonna square off the forehead. Then I'm gonna extend the cheek contour down to the jaw. So first I'll go in with my little skinny brush and my brown that I used on the eyebrows. To sketch out the contour that I want to create, then I'll enhance it with more powder and a fluffier brush. So now taking a fluffier brush in the same color, blend that all out. So I'm keeping a pretty harsh line on the inside of the forehead and blending out towards the outside. Here at the end of the eyebrow, I'm gonna round it out towards the temple. That's gonna join with the cheek contour. Now with the same brown and a fluffier brush, I'm gonna go over the cheek contour that I've already established, but now I'm bringing it down to the jaw. Connecting it here with the temple. I'm also gonna contour across the chin. I feel the forehead needs something else because it's a bit empty. So again with my skinny brush, I'm actually gonna draw a little cross between my eyebrows. Bring that up to the center and round it off to each side. Blend all of that out. Now with the nose, because I've already contoured it, my drag queen makeup, I have to kind of go over that and change the shape. So again, with my skinny brush, I wanna go down the side and enhance this ridge of my nose. Hmm, it's pretty good as a sketch. And the sides of my nostrils, I think, need a bit of enhancing, just to emphasize the width of my nose. And then scrunching up my nose like this, I'm gonna follow those lines. Now I think it needs a bit more color in the face, so I'm gonna use this kind of flat brush. So I'm just gonna add some 
Got the same blush that I already had actually. Work it into the temple contour. And down the cheek. Ooh, that might be too much. No. Now I'm just adding some of this powder highlight to the nose to correct that contour reshaping job that I just did. And I'll also add some here above the eyebrow, and the chin, and the corner of the jaw. Now I feel that the eyebrows are getting a bit lost, so I'm going to add some more black to make them stand out from the contour. Okay, we're going to count it out in 10s, 20s, 50s, $100. I'm almost done, but the only thing I haven't done anything with is the lips, and I'm not really sure how to change them. I feel like the overdrawing on the top is fine, but on the bottom it's a bit too much, so I think I need to make it smaller. So using this flat brush and a cream foundation, I'm gonna try very carefully to minimize the bottom lip. Just give the business. Just give the business. Just give the business. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, it's covered the lipstick at least. Let's try blending it out with the finger. Oh, this is, this is, good. This is salvageable. Now I'm gonna line the bottom lip again with this new shape. Okay, great. Now this color is too pink though. So I'm gonna go over it with a kind of almost nude tone for my skin. I think as I used my finger on that, it's blurred out the edges a bit, but I'm not mad at that. I think that actually works pretty well with this masculine look. Finally, I'm just gonna spritz it all with a bit of setting spray. I think that's it, I think it's done. So this is the finished look. I could put on a wig, I suppose, but I've decided I'm not going to. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that was a pretty successful transformation from drag queen to drag king, from feminine to masculine look. Still got those lashes on for a bit of drama. If you're curious more specifically about drag king makeup, I have another video where I create a masculine makeup look from scratch, so please check that out. I hope you liked this video. Please share it if you found it interesting, educational, or enlightening. Please subscribe to my channel. I have new videos coming out every single week. And if you're not already, please also follow me on Instagram at morganwoodcallisto, M-O-R-G-A-N-W-O-O-D-C-A-L-L-I-S-T-O, where you can keep up to date with me and slide into my DMs. I know you want to. Thanks for watching. See you soon.